This is CPS Dave here checking in from RepCPS.com and I've got another edition of the 60 Minute Six Pack. Today we're doing the sister beverage to the Oxtails Vodka Lemonade that I drank last week. Now these are out of Clive, Iowa, which is a neighbor to Des Moines, and they are 10% alcohol. And this isn't a beer, this is of course a craft cocktail, a pre-mix cocktail right in a can which is pretty convenient. Throw it in the cooler, you got a mixed drink right with you wherever you go, which I really like that about them. Now these are sold in four packs of 12 ounce cans, which makes them pretty convenient. And I find that they are okay. They're, they're good out of a can, but I think they're better poured over ice. I do a little bit of both for these reviews, but I think personally, they're the best poured over ice. Now I say that, but then this week I've been drinking the vodka lemonade straight out of the can just because of the convenience. So I guess either way they're good. Let's try out this rum punch and see what it's like. Cheers. Mmm. <sighs> that is good. Now there's cherries on the can. And I don't know if I'm seeing that and thinking cherry and tasting cherry. But it's kind of a cherry rum punch. Oh, that's tasty. I like these better than the vodka lemonades already. Now, I went on a little road trip today and picked up some new vinyl. So I'm gonna mess around and listen to some music. Unfortunately, I can't set these videos to music because of copyright issues. They'll get pulled off of YouTube. But I'm gonna enjoy some of these rum punches and check back in a little while and let you know what I think of them. I can already tell you that I'm gonna like them because it's like drinking a glass of Kool-Aid. All right, halfway through these opening number three and all I have to say about these is they are dangerously delicious I th and I think dangerously delicious might be the best way to describe these honestly they're making my face a little red and flush if I can get the camera you can kind of see how it's well maybe it's always like that I can't really tell but they are they're not like the seltzers they're sweetened they are smooth and it, it honestly tastes like a Kool-Aid punch. At Country Fest this last year, we did a water cooler of rock vodka, and it was just vodka ice and two containers dumped in of Kool-Aid powder. And honestly, this is that's what this tastes like. It is a cherry Kool-Aid punch. And it's it's so smooth and delicious that you kind of you don't really think about how much you're drinking because it doesn't have that alcohol burn and it doesn't have that malt beverage filling feeling that you get from those crappier malt beverage craft cocktail thing. I am on number four now. Cheers, everybody. And I gotta admit, I maybe could have had a better base. I had a light lunch at noon, like kind of right at noon. Well, now it's five and a half hours later, and I'm kind of drunk. These really grab you by the boo-boo. You don't really think there's as much alcohol in them as there is, but that's not a bad thing because, honestly, it's a mixed drink, and you get what you ask for. All right, I guess I'll race you to the bottom. My final verdict on these, um, they are... I think they're a little bit sweeter than the vodka lemonades, but that's because lemonade brings a little bit of tartness to it. If you like any kind of fruit punch drink, these are fucking amazing. I actually like these a little bit better than the vodka lemonades, I think. But I wouldn't say that they are drastically different. Um, they're they're both sweet, sweet and based not necessarily like a zero cal seltzer they're both 10 percent alcohol and um you know which is better the vodka lemonade or the rum punch i mean i guess it's just a preference because they are both delicious and dangerously good cheers everyone thanks for coming to the review